Okay, so I figured I was wrong. Sorry, I think I must have mental brain damage or something. I can't believe I messed this up. You don't put the little money sign in front of the MySQL commands. Okay, now let us try this again. Save that. Right, it worked. Okay. So, see, it said that it worked, even though we didn't put information there. Well, what's up with that? Okay, so, what is up with that is that you can put in information to the tables with blank values. So, you can see there's nothing there. So, uh, you can basically just fix that by saying, um, if... With name equals equals nothing. Uh, then uh, just let's just echo like an error. Say must enter username. And so if it actually did come up with something, just put else, then we want to check for the password. If the password equals nothing, then we'll display the same error, but for password. And so if the password actually did work, and you just want to display that, and then move your if uh, request one and two up to the these statements over here. Okay, so now uh, you should have to put uh, a username and password in there to work. So, must enter username. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the URL that you want to load, and after that, you'll have to stay tuned for the next tutorial on how to implement that into your application. So now, username. Name equals Harry, and you want to put the little end symbol there. Password equals pass. And your account has been successfully created. Hoorah! That is the wonderful sign of it has worked. Now, if we go into users, you see Harry with password pass, and you go into stats, you see Harry with a high score of zero. Okay, stay tuned for my next tutorial of which I will, or in which I will teach you how to uh, implement this information into your application.